So let's give you a little bit of a lay of the land here. Um, got the big mania tree here. Here's the ticket and the museum. That's where we're starting. Um, we got a little refreshment area here and uh, there's the nursery. Then we're going to go across the street and we're going to check out the Edison Estate, the Ford Estate, the Ford, Ford Cottage Shop, the car exhibit. Uh, there's Edison Study, Edison's Caretaker House, the Moonlight Garden, the Pool Complex, the Lily Pond, the River Pavilion, the Coconut Grove, and the Riverside Entrance over here and there's a marina back over here. All right, so let's take a look at all this good stuff. We're going to go across the street and directly across the street are the homes of Edison and Ford. Please stop here, wait for the light before crossing the street. Please stand back and do not block the sidewalk. So we're going to take a stroll down Orchid Lane here. And the houses are right over here. This tree is called a lofty fig. You can get figs off of this tree. That's right outside the house. So please do not step on the historic stones. Mr. and Mrs. Graydon Jones. Louder milk. That's when you can't hear your milk. You ask for louder milk. Uh, Joni and R.A. Henderson, Jr. Northeastern University, Carl S. Hill. Miss Effie, Fort Myers, Jr. Chamber of Commerce, Mary and Wade Bell. Dot and James Hendry. There's Elsa and Lewis Cannot. Some can, some cannot. To Mrs. Thomas A. Edison from all of her friends in the National Recreation, Recreation Association. But look at that. All these stones, they just keep going and go. Ah! And they keep going and going and going. I like this palm tree right here. Right. And, I don't know. Florida is so gorgeous. They got some of the prettiest flowers and trees and... And uh, they still got this all set up for Christmas. And you can go through a little garden walk back over here. This is a Washingtononia palm. I, I like these trees with these flowers on. An African yellow tulip tree. Yellow African tulip tree. Yellow African tulip tree. Yep. Okay, now I got it right. It's amazing that when they moved out here, there was hardly anybody out there. All there was was just the ocean or the Gulf. And uh, they lived out here in pretty much seclusion almost. And then all the rich people moved in across the street. <laughs> Okay, so that's not the gulf over there that I was seeing. That was the Calusa Hatchie River. So here is Clara Ford, Michigan Rose Garden. Look at the size of this rose garden here. And uh, holy smoke, she had a passion for roses. She had grew over 350 varieties and 10,000 rose plants at the family's estate, Fair Lane, in Dearborn, Michigan. Whoo! And when they came to Florida, this is what she got. <laughs> no, she planted more than this, but... A whole bunch of stuff over there. So, but this is the, uh, I believe this is the Ford's residence. I'll verify that when we get up here. Hi, everybody! So with the Ford Estate, we can look in the windows. And they got things, everything's marked. Here's the living room. More of the living room. And 
this would be like the main entrance where you'd come in and there's the staircase to upstairs and here is the dining room dining room back here I believe we can look in the kitchen almost once we go around so here we're coming up on the back of the house and basically it's the same thing it's the living room but you can see it from the other angle they actually had an organ over there I like the way the bathroom is outside here on the deck it says historic plumbing right there but they do uh, show some pictures here of uh, the butler's pantry and upstairs uh, that was Henry and Clara's bedroom at the maid's bedroom and the secretary's bedroom so the Ford cottage shop original section from 1925 and they turned it into like an ice cream parlor and sweet shop and stuff so this is their snack shop you get ice cream uh, pop water they got all sorts of gifts um, the chips we have some and uh, um, uh watch your step um, a little stuff up here but uh, yeah so this was henry ford's little cottage in here it turned it into a gift shop there's one of the antiques right there <laughs> hello <Hey. laughs> oh look at all the books on ford and edison though wow and even some more books on Ford and Edison. A lot of things about Florida here. Nice little shop. And there's a little back room over here with more stuff. There's like scented candles and they got tropical jams and honey and all sorts of stuff in here. Microwave mats. No more burning bare hands. I like that. Let the good times roll. I got a little rolling pin up there. All right, we're gonna come on over here and have a seat and enjoy some ice cream and some water. So this little shop and ice cream parlor and things like that, this, this, this was originally Ford's little workshop. So the part that's the main gift shop would be like the garage and the two little rooms over here is where he would have a little office and like he would tinker with stuff and he would have motor parts and all different kind of stuff like that where he could build things. So, but it's a good ice cream shop. Becky got some raspberry ice cream. Yummy. Vivian got some chocolate ice cream. Yummy. Emerson and I got waters. It was a flavor something, but too guess, heavy for ice cream. Yeah, well, it's it's hot. I need sugar. Yeah, Becky needed the sugar. She was getting a little tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Not television. Tunnel vision. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look at this thing. I think it's gorgeous. Everybody's taking their pictures by it and everything. And uh, but they do have like concerts and stuff out here. And uh, they put a little Star of Bethlehem up there. And uh, but they got the speakers out here for the concerts right now. But uh, isn't that thing amazing. And this basically is in Ford's backyard. I think there's a sign here that says exactly what it is. This is my sore of brown woolly fig. It's a fig tree. Origin, China, Southeast Asia, Indian subcontinent, and Northeastern Australia. Circumference is 346 inches. Height at 108 feet. That is a big one. These root systems are amazing. Look at that. 
Okay, so once again, here we are back at the Ford Estate. We're going to look into the back. Uh, we already looked at the back of the living room. You can see the and I already did. Uh, and um, we saw the little outdoor bathroom over there. So here is the um, here is the kitchen and the butler's pantry. Right there's the butler's pantry in here. And there's the kitchen. They had all their great modern conveniences. Look at that, a refrigerator. The size of that motor right in that refrigerator. Um, and there's the kitchen here. There's the that's actually the butler's pantry straight ahead in there, and this was just like a regular pantry. And they, there was their stove. I see a bed. And this was the maid's bedroom. I see a bed. The yeah, this was where the maid slept here. And uh, but she had her own quarters. It had its own bathroom, and this was her little kind of like living room and stuff. And then, but she would have to come out here and then go right straight into the kitchen. So today we would call that Becky's bedroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> I tease. This was the secretary's bedroom. This many now. So the secretary. And the maid had to share a bath. It is higher. Come on. And, uh, but yeah, here we go. We are going to venture off of the back patio here. And we're going to go to the Ford's garage over here where they kept their cars. You can have events here. They got theirs set up for a little, uh, an event that going to be taking place here. They have a little bar and a little ice cream and green cup cafe and stuff like that. So uh, here is Ford's garage. This is the 1921 Ford Model T uh, chassis. This was converted into a truck actually. Yep, this was a Model T that was converted into a truck. Look at, <laughs> look at that sophisticated wiring and motoring motor system right there. Even had an electric horn. Look at that. You would drive it in style if you had one of these. I'll tell you what. Over here, we got the Model A. Yeah. The 1917 Ford Model TT truck. So everybody kind of took off. I was going to get another picture, but this time with Henry Ford, but. Apparently the children are not interested in Henry Ford's statue and getting their picture taken with it. We still appreciate you, Mr. Ford. Okay, so now we're coming up on uh, Edison's house. And I believe we can go on in to Edison's house. Miss Becky, we going into Edison's house? You can't go in. You can't go in? No, you just look around. I just saw somebody go in. No, that's just the door. Oh, it's just a walkthrough. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I'm going to go up and uh, look at the porch and see all that good stuff. I'll be there in a second. All right. Hey, you three or four. I like that little, I like that little porch up there. See it up there? Isn't that nice? All right, so let's take a walk up here. And we can look into the first room, the dining room of the Edison house. So here is the Edison dining room. With 
looking all festive for the Christmas season. And look at all these. These are the chandeliers that he actually had uh, shipped in. This is their back porch. So after dinner, you could come out and enjoy the patio. different view of the dining room. Let's go on over here to the sitting room. Very nice sitting room. Look at that. The piano sitting in here. The big troll over there. Got it all set up for Christmas. And then the stairs to upstairs. Just another view from the sitting room looking into the dining room back there. There's the only two rooms on this floor. But if we look over here, there's a whole other house. <laughs> we also had a bench and some tables out here. And once again, here's just another view from the sitting room. I would look out into the back over the river. And then we'll get another one more shot of the dining room from just another angle. That's right here. Now through this little pathway here, there's the kitchen, the food pantry, and the butler's pantry. So completely separate from the main house. So what we're actually looking at here is the guest lodge. It's actually not Edison's house. It's directly next door. So you got the Ford place, the guest house, and then the Edison house. So from this side, we're going to go through here. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. They got a, a walking tour, a guided tour going on over here. So we'll have to kind of steer, steer clear there. But let's take a peek into the living room in this house. Ah, uh, yes, this is more like it. <laughs> here is the actual Edison house, the living room. Main staircase going up. Alright, here's the other side of the living room. Stairway to upstairs. Looks like an office or something back there. Just the other side of the living room. Did have a porch swing out here. Very nice. They've raised it a little bit so people won't sit on it. But over here is the library. Another shot of the library looking into the living room. Here is Thomas and Mina Edison's bedroom. So here's where they would sleep. And this was Mina's bed, and that is Thomas's bed over there. And they did have a little bathroom back there and dressing closet. The bathroom is on that side. This is the dressing closet over here. And we're looking now on Thomas's side of the room. There is the bathroom back there and the dressing closet on that side. Outside, they did have a 
uh, a staircase. Went up to additional bedrooms upstairs. But we are not permitted up there. Let's check out over here. This is the Edison family den. This is what I was thought we might have been the, the office. But it is actually the family den. Right here. Okay, so once again, here's Thomas and Mina's bedroom was separate from the main house. Um, and so were some of the upstairs bedrooms and rooms. But uh, we're going to take a walk down here. We're going to go down by the marina and the coconut garden and all sorts of stuff is down here. So wouldn't that be nice? Just be able to sit down there on the porch swing, look out over the water at these grounds. Like I said, they have the whole grounds all uh, done up for Christmas. This is the main hub uh, Christmas tree here. Go around here. And there's a little map here that says finding your way. So we're right here. So we got the, the pool complex. So apparently you can't, I don't know if you can go down Coconut Grove there. And uh, what else we got there? Edison Study is Edison's Caretaker's House, which is my god, it's awful big. Wow and the Moonlight Garden. Look at that looking out. Yeah, pretty. Now, I believe there. this used to be a, a dock out here uh, where Edison kept his boat. Yes, that is indeed what it was. This used to be the docks and the private docks of Edison and Ford. There's a little private lagoon and you can walk through Coconut Grove uh, where all the coconut trees are if you wish. There's a little pavilion out there. People can have little parties and picnics and stuff. This is the pool. Here's the Edison pool. They even had a diving board, two diving boards, a lower one and an upper one up there. And of course this is blocked off now, but you would wave would just walk right through here. These were changing rooms uh, for Edison and his guests. And you would walk up those staircases and then you would have full access to the swimming pool. And here's just another side of the pool. That's where you would enter. Once again, the changing rooms are right here. You can actually take a peek in here. Look at that. And he had a couple bathrooms out here and a place to change your clothes into your bathing suit. There's the diving boards again. Very beautiful swimming pool. So Edison uh, did design the water system here so it would flow and this is actually part of the building of the water system here that he designed. And there are pumps in there and uh, a way to clean the water and filter it. Pretty genius guy. So this here is the caretaker's house. So Edison's caretaker, would, this was his residence and he was in charge of everything that you see. The house, the gardens, everything. They have a DC versus AC, Edison, Tesla, and Westinghouse exhibit in here I do believe. A lot of history in this building here but Feels good in here.
here is the world's largest light bulb. 75,000 watts. So let's not forget, this is somebody's house. This is where the caretaker lived. So, you know, this would probably have been the, the kitchen or something like that. Entryway and bedrooms and such. Look at the different uh, type of light bulbs that there were. There's all these, there's cellulose, Mazda light bulbs, the bamboo light bulb. <laughs> I got a G Edison GE Amper meter. I have an Edison GE Amp meter, but it's a little more highly sophisticated than that. Okay, we just walked out onto the porch. There was the exit right there, but these would have went into the different rooms. And just like in Edison's house, that right there would have been the bathroom. It's kind of like an indoor, outdoor outhouse. Meaning that you had to go outside to go to the bathroom, but it had indoor plumbing. Edison's caretaker's yard. So this was all his yard. Right here. And this was all of his yard as well. How about that? I call this bamboo. So here's the caretaker's house. Here's the bath house and the swimming pool. And this was the chicken house. And it was a uh, open run. So back here, this is where the chickens used to be. And the chickens would run wild out here. Over here we have a, just a small building. And this was Edison's study. And it was right between his house and the caretaker's house. But here is Edison's study. He had a beautiful little porch out here. You can relax. And, uh, but this is the study. Like I said, it's just one big room. And he had a place to relax here. And he had his, his desk over here. Had a fireplace for cool evenings. So there it is, there's the study. So here is, uh, here's a picture of uh, Edison outside of his study. Let's get, uh, let's get a picture of uh, maybe Becky or Vivian or Emerson and standing right where he would have been standing. All right, you two are standing exactly where Thomas Edison stood, actually Emerson is. Uh, in that picture, but we're gonna take a picture now. Vivian is standing exactly where Edison stood, <laughs> but I'm gonna take you guys' picture. Cole, we see you. Hi, okay, so we're gonna take a picture and uh, commemorating this historic event. Okay, so that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Ford and Edison Estates. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, that, was, uh, that was the big garage for Edison back there. That was where he stored all of his automobiles as well. All right, we're gonna go into the, uh, we're back at uh, where we came in. There's Mr. Edison over there by his biggest banyan tree in the United States. This place was different. We had to enter through the gift shop. We don't have to exit through it. Yeah. Yeah, you could just uh, you could just leave if you want. You don't have to exit through the gift shop. But you did have to go through it when you came in. Cole. We're not going in. All right, Becky's searching for a a magnet for us. 
I think that's about the last thing we need is a, another coffee mug. Nah, I like yeah, this that one's that one's kind of cool though. You want it? No, it's okay. You can get it if you want it. Becky, show me that magnet. Look at that, and it's double sided. It's a double sided magnet. You've so never you get, had a bit of double sided. No, magnet. but if you get bored or something with one side, you can always turn it over and look at the other side. You're gonna get yourself some. What you getting? The Edison Ford Estates sweatshirt, and it's a zip-up hoodie. And we're also going to get the book called The Vagabonds. I like some of these sayings. My best friend is the one who brings out the best in me. That was Henry Ford. And Thomas Edison said, hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. And another thing that I was agree with Thomas Edison 100%, baseball is the greatest of American games. So just so everybody knows, this huge banyan tree here, this is the one that Edison planted, that the trunk of it is right there in the middle, right there. And it's just, I mean, I, it's just, you can't believe the size of this thing. Just how massive it is. So this was planted as a sapling in 1927. That is so hard to believe. Planted by Edison in 1927, and it has grown to this size. It is one of the largest banyan trees in the world.